and it's all a song exactly about it. all so about today, abortion uh, today we'll so be talking about it we shed light so yeah. tell you what you can do Anything you may want to ask us, we have our numbers: zero seven two one one zero five one zero five two three eight one four, or MBC ITV Facebook page. Kwa comment section, we have our numbers: zero seven two one one zero five one zero five two three eight one four, or MBC ITV Facebook page. Kwa comment section, we have our numbers: zero seven two one one zero five one zero five two three eight one four, or MBC ITV Facebook page. Kwa comment section, we have our numbers: zero seven two one one zero five one zero five two three eight one four, or MBC ITV Facebook page. Kwa comment section, we have our numbers: zero seven two one one zero five one zero five two three eight one four, or MBC ITV Facebook page. Tunafikiri kwamba muda umesonga sana. Yeah. Kwa hiyo tutakuwa tunakwenda kwa speed ya mm. juu kidogo. Mm. Anasema hello my name is Lucy kutoka Embu. Yeah. Unasema unatupenda sana. Mm. Unasema wewe ni shabiki mgeni. Karibu sana hapa nyumbani. Tuwapenda mm. wageni sana right. ndani ya kipindi hiki. Asante sana. Good morning Kamiten Rachel. Good morning. I'm Lucy Kamau from Zewanyama. Yeah. What a powerful tegasikio. For me venye life imenipeleka personally and spiritually um, for I know I have a strong reason for changing my life spiritually and I believe that God will hear my cry and change my life for I know God has great things upon my life please help me pray asante sana and have a wonderful day Asante mm. Anasema hapa morning Rausha team enjoying the show sometimes we do things that we can't tell the reason mm. why we are doing the, we are doing them Uh, have a reason as to why you are doing what you are doing mm -hmm. blessed day unasema kutoka ndalatu unasema naitwa veronica thank you okay yes kwa haraka tu <laughs> all right yeah. uh, ni mwana ujumbe wako paris from limuru okay. tukapata kisoma ah, yeah. good morning kamitan rachel morning. wow educative tegasikio challenges as that um, what okay i don't understand what you're saying sawa Anasema hey what a wonderful tagasikio for today DK Irarigi yani mm -hmm. utajidunisha tena oh, okay. unasema if god is on my side hata mimi unasema kwamba utaweza Asante sana mm -hmm. huyu anasema Mungu akitenda jambo anatenda kwa ukubwa mpaka watu wanashangaa anasema anaitwa Sophia kutoka Ruisambo kutoka Ruisambo mwingine mm. hapa anasema ni Domblez kutoka Thika good morning team Raushwa a uh, quite an eye open hata gasikio come to you really a wonderful storyteller asante enjoy mm. the way you vividly explain mm -hmm. those stories thank you asante sana mwingine mm -hmm. anasema great inspirational tagasikio for sure with a good reason one won't give up on what you want to accomplish exactly. it takes that reason to push and pursue what um what no matter the circumstance that you face yeah. may god help us to be motivated by positive reasons and to pursue our destiny okay twafunga na huyu ambaye mm -hmm. anasema praise god team Amen. this is so much amazing challenging and also very enlightening when mm -hmm. you have a reason you will realize the outcome mm -hmm. i'm somewhere today henceforth and i thank god for you mm -hmm. my dear team have a blessed uh, tuesday Asante. anasema anaitwa mary kutoka nanyuki all right nifunge na wa mshoe upande tafadhali kwa haraka tena praise sana praise god precious people I'm I'm Kate from Isiolo County. What a wonderful tegasikio. It has really taught us in everything that we do. We should never give up and we should be like a ma the mother who squeezed the orange for she never gave up. Yeah. Uh, she had a good reason and we trust in God to give us strength to accomplish our mission in life. There you go. Mm. So tumekafungia hapo kuhusiana mm -hmm. na hizo jumbe za tegasikio. Asante sana kwa jumbe wako. Yeah. Na kama hatukuweza kusoma leo hata kesho pia najua kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu atatujalia mm -hmm. tuone nafasi nyingine. Now we are here. Mm -hmm. Tutakuwa tuna switch, switch kidogo hivi Kiingereza, yeah. Kiswahili. Mm -hmm. uh, Luka ya mama ndio tutaongea tu. Yeah. Lakini zingine tutazizungumza hapa. <laughs> Because we have a very wonderful conversation this morning. It's uh -huh. going to be an eye opener kwako mm -hmm. wewe ambaye kwa njia moja au nyingine huo unajiuliza ikifikia ni maswala ambayo yanaendana na utoaji wa mimba ama yeah. abortion. Mm -hmm. You know, is this something that uh, should be accepted in yeah. the society or mm -hmm. is something that you know it should not see the light of day mm -hmm. because we have had conversations and mm -hmm. debates you know across the world yeah. people talking about mm -hmm. abortion kuna wale ambao wanasema we have safe abortion wengine mm -hmm. wanasema kwamba abortion is abortion yeah. now today we really want to understand mm -hmm. uh, from a particular perspective right here mm -hmm. na sijui kama unaweza ukaona kama mpiga picha anaweza kakuonyesha hapo yeah. kwenye meza hiyo utaona kwamba kuna <laughs> vitu ambavyo vimekuja na wageni wetu kwa haraka yeah. tu sana mm -hmm. haraka haraka utuoneshe picha hizo uh, mm -hmm. mpiga picha yeah. tutakuwa tunazitumia hapa na mambo yatakuwa ni shwari kabisa now mm. tuko na wageni ambao wametutembelea kujadili na kuzungumza kuhusiana swala hili lakini pia na wewe tunataka kujua kutoka kwako what is your stand kuhusiana na hili swala la abortion now mm -hmm. wageni ambao tuko nao tuko na bwana Jonathan mm -hmm. sasa ni Jonathan who 
Yeah, Jonathan O'Toole. <laughs> Thank you very much. There you go. And Jonathan O'Toole uh -huh. is a husband, a father, a lay preacher, and founder of Project C. And Jonathan, he portrays uh, an abortionist in a, in a film. Mm -hmm. pia tuakua, Na in that film, huwa anajulikana kama Dr. Colin in the upcoming film Retaliation. He has been arrested over a dozen times for peacefully speaking up for preborn babies in fulfillment of the book of Proverbs, that one and verse eight. He is a baptized Bible-believing Orthodox Christian. Mm -hmm. Na pia kano na hiyo ni kwamba yeah. tuko na mgeni mwingine ambaye Rachel utatueleza about yes. Rosabella eh, Akinyi. Anitua Rosabella Akinyi. There you And go. I am so passionate about ladies when you are in front who do things. Yeah. So we have a lady, she's a born again Christian. Great. And a fellowship at Jubilee Christian Church. Also, she's, a mar she's married to Zablon and she is a mother of three. Yeah. Yeah. Also, she's an, a sales executive, right? Mm -hmm. At Britam uh, Insurance Company. And she's a first aid trainer at Kenya Red Cross Society. Okay. So, so she's a lot in one. Yeah. Na leo takuwa natuambia about abortion. She's so passionate about it na ana champion the right of unborn babies under the project C. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also ana participate in many charity programs at church where she leads hands of compassion. I want to tell what that is about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Na pia tuko na mgeni mwingine ambaye ni Father Emmanuel Masharia. Yeah. Always wanted to serve the Lord as a priest. He applied to a seminary uh, in Nairobi back in 2013. Mm -hmm was rejected, reapplied again in mm -hmm. 2014, and was accepted. Yeah. He completed his theological studies in 2018 and in 2019 got married to a beautiful Presbytera Julia. So you come out of Ah, good. And they were blessed with one daughter, <laughs> Tiffany. And I said, Pia, I'm about to know in July 2019, he was elevated into priesthood. Uh, currently, Father Emmanuel is serving under a very humble parish, St. George Orthodox Church in Subuku Njoro. Na hao ndio wageni ambao tuko nao siku ya leo. Na tumesema kwamba kutoka kwa kwa tunataka tukujua what do you stand mm -hmm. kusiana na this wonderful conversation right here about yeah. abortion. Mm -hmm. Na your stand, make it known to us through our various platforms. Mm -hmm. Ambazo ni 071 ni our WhatsApp number. 23814 ambayo ni SMS code. It's free. So kaa una bundles, una credit, that's the way to go. Tutakwa tunapato jumbe wako. Na pia ndani ya MBC ITV Facebook page kwa comment section. There you go. Yes, so kiuliza maswali zako, zitakwa zinajibiwa leo. Yeah, mm -hmm. so ladies and gentlemen, Introducing. Jonathan, Rose, uh, Rosabella, and Father Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Amen. Karibuni. Asante. Asante. Swahili. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said you understand a bit of Swahili. Kidogo sana. Kidogo sana. Okay. King Reza is better. King Reza is better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Welcome. And then Rosabella, there you go. How are you doing? I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Yeah. I'm so happy to be here. Right. Uh -huh. It's it's actually a dream come true. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so, 2022 okay. is your yeah. year of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> and then you have Father Emmanuel. Thank you. I'm very much humbled and privileged yes. mm -hmm. to be hosted here. Great. I'm so happy yeah. that we shall be having a discussion today concerning mm -hmm. abortion. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because it is a burning issue in the society. Exactly. Yeah. A Thank burning you. issue. There you go. Mm -hmm. Now, wow. uh, first of all, even before, because I know we'll also be discussing about uh, the film Retaliation. Mm -hmm. uh, before we even go to that, because we also know that this film mm -hmm. is all about abortion, abortion. and sensitizing people mm -hmm. on the dangers of the same. Mm -hmm. Maybe yes. there is someone who is watching us for the very first time mm -hmm. and hearing this conversation, and yes. he or she could be asking him or herself, mm -hmm. what is abortion? Yeah. Mr. Jonathan. Okay, in the Bible, there's a little bit of confusion here. In the Bible and medical textbooks, you might see the word abortion. Yeah. And it can be used for even a miscarriage, which is no fault of anyone. It's mm -hmm. just like when a person dies naturally. So we need to begin by making a, a big distinction. Yeah. Good. If your grandfather, for example, dies in his sleep or from heart attack, he's 90 years old, mm -hmm. 
God has taken him. Natural death. Yes. 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 Natural death. But if you push your grandfather down the stairs because you're tired of feeding him, <laughs> you're killing him. That <laughs> is homicide. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. the distinction. There can be abortion <laughs> mm -hmm. when God does the abortion mm -hmm. because the child just dies naturally. The body rejects the child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The woman didn't drink any do any uh, poison or substance mm -hmm. or any surgery. No malice. No um, intention. Mm -hmm. But elective abortion, meaning to choose. You go to an election, you vote in the election, you choose. Mm. Elective abortion medically is when the person chooses, the woman chooses mm. to kill deliberately the child mm. in the womb. That's mm. what we're really talking about yeah. this morning. Mm. So yeah. when someone is very intentional on wanting to make sure mm. the unborn baby does not come to this world. Intentionally taking any action. Exactly. Any action so yeah. when a lady to just wants life. to get rid of the baby. Correct. For any reason. Uh -huh. yeah. So that's what we'll be talking about today. That's what we're focusing on today. All right. So okay. don't make that, uh, don't confuse those two ideas. Good. Okay. Yeah. And, 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 and first of all, even mm -hmm. before now, we, we, we get into deeper conversation about the same. Yes. Yeah. What gave you the passion uh, to really, you know, focus on this one particular agenda? You know, when I was eight years old, I uh, was in front of the Planned Parenthood, which is the biggest abortion provider on earth. Okay. Probably um, the second one would be um, Mary Stopes. Mm -hmm. But I was in front of that Planned Parenthood clinic in Utah, in America, mm -hmm. and I saw a picture of little babies from Canada who had been aborted in a trash can, a black and white picture. And it horrified my soul at eight years old. And then some father who was, t who was taking... Um, I shouldn't even call him a father, but he was taking a girl to for an abortion at that clinic. He came, and I was standing next to another young girl my age, mm -hmm. and he threw a glass bottle at us, and the glass broke into shards, and I said in my spirit, this is a war. A few years later, when I was 17 years old, a dog grabbed my arm. You can't see for the long sleeves. He almost severed my forearm, mm -hmm. and there was no one to help me. I was in a very remote place, and this is a big dog. You've seen those... Uh, bore bulls, almost yeah. big like that. Yeah, but not like our puppies that we no, have no, here. No, no, not these, li <laughs> not these little, you know, <laughs> yeah. No, no, yeah, a very huge dog. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. he was severing my arm almost. There was no one to help me. I was crying for help. Mm -hmm. By the grace of God, God showed me what to do. I got out of that situation, mm -hmm. holding my arm, and my arm was reconstructed by a surgeon. But that experience made me feel how it might be to be small, vulnerable. You mm -hmm. don't have any means of defense, mm -hmm. and you're being ripped apart. From that day mm -hmm. forward, I really empathized with the little baby, the innocent baby in the womb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's wow. when I, I began to speak up. I was arrested all those times. I never yeah. harmed anyone. Yeah. Yeah. I won all those cases. Mm. But we founded Project C, and that C is an acronym for Stop Exporting Evil. And those words uh, are directed uh, by uh, us. Right. Now, wow. you're get, now you're hearing. Okay. Uh -huh. I thought it was about C. No, yeah. it I also know. means look. We need to look. <laughs> yeah. Open your eyes and look. Uh -huh. But also stop. Tell the Western world. Mm. They left God. They've gone against the Bible. Mm. Mm. They're pushing. It's the foreign policy of the American government and the United Kingdom that they punish any country that criminalizes sodomy. Or mm -hmm. abortion. Yeah. They punish them. Yeah. They withhold money from them. Yeah. Yeah. Coercion techniques. Mm -hmm. So instead, Africa and Christians around the world and people who fear God, even non-Christians, mm -hmm. can stand on their feet and say what? Your money can go to hell. We will not receive your evil mm -hmm. or be seduced or coerced to kill little babies yeah. Yeah. or to accept gayism mm -hmm. sodomy yeah. so that's the spirit behind okay. our project c and when wow. you, st you started talking about the same mm -hmm. I, yeah. I really want to understand uh did it cause any commotion back at home oh so so much it's, it's given me a lot of problems obama put me on a list every time i tried to leave the airport he would send two agents <laughs> That's the truth. Okay. Through Obama. It even continued into Trump. I don't think it was personally from Trump, but um, the FBI grabbed me in Nairobi. Uh, these people know they were, they were trying to help me at that time. I did mm. nothing wrong, mm. but I was held for three days and even in violation of the Kenyan Constitution. Okay. And then they had nothing. They let me go and I, with an apology. Yeah. So it's brought uh, a focus on my family and on my life mm. simply because there's so much money, so much money and so much of a Powerful power brokers are pushing to reduce the population of Africa in particular mm. because Africa is so resource rich. Yeah. And yet who's standing in the way of the people who want to eat those resources? Mm. It's the population, the demographics. 
these people of Africa. So we have to stop them from reproducing. Okay. Mm. We have to nullify them so we can take what they, wow. what they have. Wow. So hey. it's been a fight against abortion, like a real, real fight. A real fight. Yeah. A real war. A real war. With Which, real casualties. Yeah. So we're supposed to actually stop it. Yeah. It's not just something you're coming up with. Yeah. And how did you come up with the idea of bringing up a movie, which uh, a film, which you're going to be seeing in a short while? Um, because I believe it's a really good way of reaching people out there because people really love watching. Mm -hmm. So how did you come up with the idea of bringing up a film? Rachel, you know, um, there's someone who said a picture speaks a thousand words. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a moving picture has mm -hmm. got thousands and thousands or millions of, of pictures. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and a lot of what's coming out of Hollywood or the West is those are dirty pictures very often, the majority, mm -hmm. designed to confuse and pervert us. And they yeah. take, if it's pornography, it hits men and twists their minds. Mm -hmm. If it's like um, more often like soap operas with women, it, it programs young women's minds, especially if they watch it when young. But we can do the same, as MBCI does, with the Word of God and mm -hmm. with truth. Mm -hmm. So a picture is just a picture. In our church, we have icons. Yeah. We yeah. look at holy mm -hmm. things, people who laid down their lives for God. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's all the question of what are you looking at. Mm -hmm. When we were children, we said, be careful, little eyes, what, what you see. Yeah. But the Father is looking down in love, mm -hmm. right? Be careful, little eyes. So I thought, your name, Rachel, it means a small lamb. Cindy, yeah. the girl in this film, mm -hmm. she kind of looks like a small lamb, mm -hmm. the actress that we chose. Yeah. I wanted to show people mm -hmm. the pain, the death, the destruction that is visited upon mm -hmm. a woman emotionally and sometimes physically. Sometimes the mother does not survive the abortion. Yeah. Yeah. Either she dies mm -hmm. from the process mm -hmm. or years down the road, there can be breast cancer. Yeah or other cancers, mm -hmm. even if she misses those, there is emotional regret and pain. When would have been the birthday of my child? How mm -hmm. old would he have been? Mm -hmm. I would rather people would see this in a drama mm -hmm. than to have this horrible and, life. and horror, a horror in a drama, yeah. Yeah. than to have this horror play out in the drama of your the life, real yeah. life, the True. real life, mm -hmm. yeah. and have to be the drama. Watch the drama. It's, that's why I want people to see this film. Yeah. Watch the drama, see it, see the end of seduction. Okay. So it has positive, it has a good friend, yeah. it has a brother loving his sister, mm. a, br a, brother re a son reconciled to a father. Yeah. It also has negative. What happens when you don't listen to advice yeah. and you yield to seduction? Okay. Wow. Even before we go deeper into the film Retaliation, mm. yeah. I also wanted to understand uh, from the two of you, mm. how did you find yourselves working with Jonathan? Maybe, Rosabella, you can go first. Okay, thank you. Um, I knew Jonathan through a colleague I was working with by then at Kenya Red Cross. Mm -hmm. uh, his name is Kingori, okay. Patrick. And um, Jonathan introduced the idea because mm -hmm. he came boiling with the idea. Like, mm -hmm. he needs to do something for yeah. the Kenyan population. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, we spoke one-on-one -on -one, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I agreed to join him and... Uh, you know, just champion the course. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, many a times we've uh, gone to schools. Mm -hmm. We've uh, had talks with uh, secondary school uh, students, college students, because mm -hmm. you realize this, these issues of abortion, uh, they are mainly carried, of course, among uh, school-going kids. Yeah. yeah. And also, you know, married women out mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. and adults. Mm -hmm. That's right. So... Um, he introduced the, the topic to me, mm. and I felt, okay, yeah, I can do this. Mm. After all, I'm a trainer, yeah. Yeah. and uh, I'm trained in, uh, I'm, I'm professionally, I'm an EMT, mm. an emergency medical technician. Ah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So um, I work in an ambulance, mm. but um, I, I'm, not, I'm not active right now, okay. or even by then, uh, I was more into trainings. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I was more into trainings, and so... When he introduced the idea, mm -hmm. I, I felt it is something that, uh, okay, I, I, I can do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, ha I have this passion, you know, about young girls. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I want girls to achieve their dreams. I, mm -hmm. want, I want girls to finish their school mm -hmm. and just, you know, be who God intended them to be okay. yes. in the right way. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you realize these issues of abortion are so rampant in school. Yeah. yeah. So I took the idea and I ran with it. There you mm -hmm. go. So we... Uh, went around 
uh, talking to school administrators, yeah. asking for permission to, yeah. you know, just talk to the girls, talk to the boys mm. on issues on sexuality generally. Okay. Yeah. Just to be a good person, just yeah. to, to live right. Yeah. You know, issues on sex. Mm. Not really promoting sex yeah. or rather telling them how it's done and all that. Mm. You know, at times people have uh, this notion that when you talk about sex in schools or on sex to children, you're telling them how, you know, how it's done. No, they will know how. So, <laughs> they will know how for sure. So yeah. for us, it was just to, you know, try to tell them, sex, okay, it's good, mm. but wait until it's at, it is at the right time. Yeah. You, yeah. Marriage. Okay. Wait till you're married. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Once you're done with school, mm. you get a spouse, mm. you're married. Mm. That is when we can say sex. Mm. In a godly way. Yeah, in a yeah. godly way. There you go. And then, of course, we introduce now the issue of abortion. Mm. Yes. Why? You don't need to, in case, you know, you, you fall along the way. Mm. Yeah. Why you need to carry this pregnancy to term. Yeah. Why okay. you need to make sure that this baby is born. Mm. So that is now uh, what Jonathan and, uh, and I uh, has been doing to mm. schools mm. and to congregations right. uh, that uh, accept. Okay. Yeah. Thank you okay. so much. But so, Emmanuel, we are Emmanuel, also yes, very happy to have you. You'll be giving us the spiritual angle of this. Okay. Yeah. But before that, yes. also, how did you meet um, Jonathan and why do you have the passion or how did you get to doing this? Uh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, I think uh, I met our brother Jonathan through the church. Mm -hmm. as, uh, he is a man of the church. Mm -hmm. As he introduced himself. He said he is an Orthodox Christian. Yeah. As also, I am also an Orthodox Christian mm -hmm. and a clergy. So I met him in our parish where I was fellowship uh, several years ago at the Holy Resurrection Orthodox Church mm -hmm. located there at uh, Shabab next to Red Cross. So uh, Jonathan have been uh, been a, a, a great advocate against abortion mm -hmm. in the church, outside the church. So I admired what he was doing mm. because I know he is uh, fighting yeah. against abortion, mm. which is a great sin. Just as uh, Elder Thaddeus said, a woman who destroys the fruits of her womb commits a great sin. She is uh, destroying it, uh, its life, for God alone is the giver of life, and he makes possible the conception of human being in the womb. He gives life and a woman destroys it. Uh, great repentance is necessary. So we are here to advocate against abortion. We are calling upon the people. We should take care of lives, but we should not end what God had started. That uh, fetus in the womb is a living being. Yes. So he deserves to live. To I, have, live. Yeah, yeah. I have seen Jonathan walking uh, in the streets fighting against abortion, going to uh, schools. Mm -hmm. So I saw it is a good thing mm -hmm. for us also as a church mm -hmm. to emulate and also to teach. Mm -hmm. As okay. I am a youth, mm -hmm. I have also been advocating this in, the, in our church mm -hmm. during the youth conferences and such. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, right. Father Emmanuel, uh, you're, you've committed yourself pretty much, I mean, you're a father too, but pr full time to the gospel of Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. That's your work. Mm -hmm. But now... If there are no people, if we abort the people, yeah. is there any gospel? Who will the gospel be preached to? Yeah. Yeah. Sure, there is the idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 We come to the film Retaliation. Mm -hmm. And I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. uh, why the name Retaliation to begin with? The film, I don't want to spoil the film, but the film illustrates um, a young man, a young African man, mm -hmm. who's hardworking. And he has a little money, but not much. He's wearing, you know, secondhand clothes and mm -hmm. struggling, struggling for, to take care of his sister and his family, mm -hmm. pushing her through school. But what happens to him is like a perfect storm of events that involve a heavily funded member of an NGO mm -hmm. coming and, and just ignoring the laws of Uganda, but which would be this very similar to the laws of Kenya mm -hmm. and many African countries against abortion making it a felony, mm. a felony. Now we have a judge in this country that has, that has said in March that uh, no one can arrest just by judicial fiat mm. through corruption. So this is not just hypothetical, not just a story. This is really happening, okay. really happening now. So the question is, what does a young man, 
a father or a brother mm -hmm. of, of normal means, an African person, do in a situation where his family members are being killed and people are walking all over the law, corrupting justice, corrupting the legal system, ignoring the written law. How do you enforce the law when the people whose job is to enforce the law are corrupted mm. by money and by people coming as agents of Satanism yeah. and death from other countries that are seducing them? And so that's, the, that's what the young man is faced with. And after trying every, as the Bible says, do everything decently yeah. and in order. Yeah. Mm. Decently and in order. He tried every decent and orderly method. He failed and yet his sister has been killed mm. and her go. child has been killed. Yeah. Mm. So he retaliates. Yeah. Okay. So let's, let's first of all watch oh. uh, part. Mm. Uh, there's a part there mm -hmm. of the brother that you have really spoken about yeah. yes. who is really struggling to make mm. sure that the sister is you know, well taken care of. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, the sister now comes with these news and you know, later the brother finds out that mm -hmm. actually the sister mm -hmm. uh, is, I can't get what you're saying. Yes, please, you can shout from wherever you are. Yes, All of right. course, it okay. is on. Right. So, I don't know, we can, we can use both the mm -hmm. lapel and, and, and the mic. Yeah. So, first of all, let us first of all watch all right. uh, uh, let's that see the first the uh, episode. Yeah. It's uh, maybe a minute or something, mm -hmm. and we can also have the sound here as well. You're giving me results for another patient. Are you not the one who came in with um, Kathy Namuyamba? Yes, I am. And then why are you saying that the information I'm giving you is for a different patient? Because my sister is not pregnant. She only has malaria. Sir, we have run several tests on her and she has no sign of malaria in her blood. Yes, the signs she has are like those of a malaria patient, but are very common in pregnant women. That's why I'm asking the reason as to why they were giving her anti-malaria drugs, yet she has no malaria in her blood. I've sacrificed everything, everything for you. All the money. I give it to you because I want you to have a comfortable life at school. I wear rags, sleep in torn bed sheets, eat bad food, all because I'm serving and I want to pay tuition in time. I'm seen as an embarrassment in the village because of the clothes and this one pair of shoes that I put on. Look at this room, everything in this room. Look at the shoes. Everything you ask for, I give it to you without complaining. And what have you paid me in return? I'm sorry, Joseph, I'm sorry. Sorry? <laughs> and you think sorry is going to change any of this? Yeah. Mm. Hiyo ni moja wapo ya sehemu za this film ambayo inaitwa yeah. retaliation kama vile ambavyo umesikia kutoka kwa Jonathan mm -hmm. inaelezea kuhusiana huyu msichana yeah. ambaye labda ndio unajiunga nasi kwa mara ya kwanza ambaye anaishi na ndugu yake mm -hmm. na ndugu yake anafanya kila awezalo kuhakikisha kwamba huyu msichana anaishi maisha mazuri anasoma na neni lakini sasa baadaye ndugu yake ndio anakwenda kule hospitalini na anaelezwa si malaria ako nayo mm -hmm. uh, ana ujauzito so ndivyo unamwona ndugu yake anahamaki pale anamwambia i have done everything for you yeah. kila kitu niko na pea moja ya viatu na wewe sasa unaona mambo yale ambayo umeniletea yeah. and from there hapo ndipo mawazo ya yule msichana sasa ya kwanza kufikiria vile ambavyo nafikiri yeah. ataweza ku na this situation anapomuingia yeah. and finally kuna zingine hapo ambazo tulikuwa tunaona mm -hmm. katika muda usiokuwa mrefu lakini yeah. before then mm -hmm. nafikiria kwamba tuendelea kiu kidogo na mjadala ambao tuko nao siku ya leo yeah. but kitu yenye pia ningetaka kuuliza we've seen um, the doctor no, I mean break the news, yeah. right? Yeah. So is there a difference between a doctor and uh, an abortionist, the person who helps the ladies to do the abortion and everything? Oh, very good question. There is a huge difference, a world of difference. Mm -hmm. um, just like the Bible says, as far as the East is from the West, the Lord has removed it, his sins from us. That's how mm -hmm. different an abortionist is from a doctor. Mm -hmm. The reason is even older than the birth of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. There was a man called Hippocrates. Have you heard of Hippocrates? Mm -hmm. The Hippocratic Oath. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Doctors take the Hippocratic Oath. That is 2,400 years old. Mm -hmm. 400 years before the birth of Jesus, almost. Mm -hmm. almost. Hippocrates was looking around 
And he said, okay, there's a lot of people who say they are doctors here, mm. and witch doctors and every kind of doctor. Mm. Some of them do the same thing. They'll deliver a baby, but some of them, mm -hmm. you can hire them to deliver the baby today or to heal your broken leg today. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow, if you pay them money, they can help you to poison your husband yeah. or poison your wife. Mm. Yeah. So he drew a circle the way Jesus drew a circle around his disciples. Said, mm. These are my 12. Yeah. Hippocrates says, okay, if you're my disciple, if mm. you're a Hippocratic physician, mm. you have to swear by all that is holy. Mm -hmm. And he listed some things. I won't disclose people's private mm. information. Many, many things. Mm. Two of the things he listed in the original Hippocratic Oath in the Greek language were, number one, I will do no harm. These instruments that I have, these razor, these uh, scalpel, mm. these cutting, these, pois these poisons can be medicine or they can be poison, yeah. depending on how they are used. Mm -hmm. I will never use my instruments to do harm. Mm -hmm. I will never pr do harm to anyone. Yeah. Number two, he said specifically, I will not give a woman a pessary to induce an abortion. Mm -hmm. That is the Western medical tradition, the Hippocratic Oath, 2,400 years old, up to just a few decades ago. Now, those who inherited it, just like you might see and I'm not picking on our Roman Catholic brethren, but a priest or a pastor that you find has molested a child. You see, he represents a tradition of ministering to people, helping people, mm -hmm. and yet he's taken that authority and that office and used it to do the most satanic thing. Mm -hmm. The same kind of thing can happen with a physician, mm -hmm. which is like a priest, mm -hmm. because you trust a physician with your life. It's yeah. a sacred calling. Mm -hmm. The physician, the same way a Christian priest can, can, if Satan enters into him, can abuse and invert his office the same way if a physician does abortion. They may still have the white uh, robe, the white coat, the name, even the fancy office, even all the machines, and yet that is now a witch. He's moved outside of that circle of mm. Hippocratic medicine and into witchcraft. Yeah. Okay. Rosbella, as an emergency medical technician dealing with life and death, yeah. teaching people how to, how to deal with life and death, mm -hmm. is a Hippocratic, within the circle of Hippocratic mm -hmm. medicine. Yeah. That's there you the go. distinction. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and right. for the Emmanuel baby, yes. what could be the difference between, uh, not, not really the difference, uh, how does the gospel relate to enforcing the law against baby killing? Uh, thank you very much. Huh? The church or the Bible is very clear concerning these issues of abortion. Mm. Uh, if we can refer from Isaiah chapter 49 verse 1 to 5, mm -hmm. uh, it says that the Lord called me from the womb, mm -hmm. from the body of my mother, he named me by name. And now the Lord says, who formed me from the womb to be his servant? God had a great purpose wow. for that human being. Mm. Yeah. We can see from the word go, uh, may, or somebody may ask, when does life start? You can say life starts immediately after conception. Mm -hmm. That is a human being. Yes. That is some, uh, somebody very precious. God had uh, destined him for great things. Uh, St. John Chrysostom once uh, said, I have no name to give it. That is abortion. Since it does not take off being born, mm -hmm. but prevent it from being born. So abortion, we cannot even understand. Uh, maybe you had asked uh, concerning tofauti ya daktari na mwenye nafanya ile abortion. Ah, mimi naweza sema kwamba mwenye nafanya uaviaji mimba, huo ni muuaji, he is a murderer. Na tofauti ya daktari ni kwamba daktari yuko pale kutibu. Ah, the abortions they can be performed uh, with a medical prescription to save life. Ah, uh, that one is very much okay, but May uh, doctors pass, uh, sometimes they may they may uh, misuse this uh, responsibility. That avenue, yeah. Yeah. yes, mm -hmm. because uh, they may say we are allowed to perform abortion. Mm -hmm. So even if anyone can come, we shall claim that we were saving life of the mother. Mm -hmm. Why can't you save both lives? Of the unborn child of course. and of the mother. There's no yeah. reason to deliberately. Yes. Just to clarify, there's so no we reason have, to deliberately. We, we don't have safe okay. abortion. Uh -huh. uh, we don't, um, and there's no reason to elect for even when it's an ectopic pregnancy. Just mm -hmm. to be clarified, uh, to clarify, that is no one is choosing to kill a child mm -hmm. with an ectopic pregnancy. Mm -hmm. That child is where he or she 
cannot live yeah. to begin with. Mm. He cannot live. There's no way to save that child. Mm. It's as though you're driving this matatu up, up the hill and there's a cliff on this side. Mm. There's 12 human beings, children, mm. men, women behind you. You're the driver. Mm. You come around the road. You're not over speeding. Somehow, a little baby boy or girl is there in the road. Will you crush that child? Mm. Or will you go off the cliff with these people? You don't have a choice. Yeah. You go over the child. Mm. The child is where he shouldn't be. The vast majority, what we're calling elective abortions, have nothing to do with mm. that. That is so a disease. Okay. That is the doctor treating a disease. All right. And so if I choose to kill someone, mm. as Father Emmanuel was saying, it's murder. Can I get the gospel? Yes, but I have to be stopped first. Just like if I start killing people in this room, mm. or one of us goes crazy, we have to lay hands on that person. Mm. If Rosbella goes mad yeah. and starts shooting us, <laughs> yeah. we, have to, we have to arrest her, we have to mm. tie her hands. Then we can say, Dada, Pole, mm -hmm. repent. Mm. But first we have to stop her, right? Yeah. Okay. She must be behind bars. So yeah. wow. That's the distinction. God has given the ministry of the law. Yeah. It can't save us, yeah. but it can stop us from killing ourselves and killing people long enough so we can hear the gospel by the grace of God. Okay. Yeah. And Rosabella, if I may ask, how far are you willing to go with this course? Mm -hmm. Wow, to the ends of the world. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh <-huh>. uh, <clears throat> when we look back um, from the stories of uh, creation, mm. uh, God created Adam and Eve. That is in Genesis 2, if I'm yeah. not wrong. He created Adam and Eve, mm. and uh, he blessed them. Mm. And he told them, uh, you know, go and multiply, mm. subdue the earth. Mm. Okay? Correct. So I don't understand... Uh, why people should be limited to, you know, not feeling the earth. You know, at times I hear stories, oh, there are countries that are overpopulated and all that. Mm. I don't really understand. Because it is God's idea f right from the beginning mm. that the world should be filled. Yeah. I, I don't Amen. think if the earth can ever, you know, be full of people. Mm -hmm. The earth is so big. Look at it this way. When you travel right from um, Nakuru, Unenda Nairobi, yeah. mm -hmm. Iso areas are naivasha zote, it's just land, you know. Mm. Mm. I, I don't see mm. people living there. So how come we say the earth is filled? Mm -hmm. As in it's a true major, like we, we cannot fit any, any, anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for me, um, this, I don't really get it. And it, it really, it's me. It, it really annoys me mm -hmm. that uh, people choose to kill, you know, so that they are able to reduce population, they are able to uh, 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 um, they are able to reduce the number of people at the earth is filled. So for me personally, this course, I'll really uh, it is something that uh, <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. you know, I have a personal experience. Um, you know, COVID came. And uh, so much happened to our a children. Yes. Yeah. So much happened to our children. Mm. That period while we were home, you know, um, this COVID did not, it, it wasn't just a disease. To me, it was like some demons had been released, you know, mm. yes. to the earth. Because yes. the things that people were doing, like Aziku mm. Kawaida, mm. and especially uh, uh, for our young ones. So um, during that time, mm -hmm. my own child, Alipata Ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and by there I'm a grandma. Ah, <laughs> wow. okay. mm -hmm. And um, I was uh, told that information akiwa shule. So I was called that uh, come, your child is unwell. I got worried. So nikaenda shule, mm -hmm. na walimu. Then they broke the news. Mm -hmm. huh, you don't want to imagine what happened. It wasn't easy mm. as a mother, as a Christian, you know, as, as, as a person who champions this. Mm. So like I was asking myself, where do I start from? Mm. I'm so much into this thing of, you know, preserving the unborn. Yeah. But now here I am. Mm. Mm? In the same position. <laughs> In the same yes. position. Yes. So how do I go about it? Mm. How do I face? No, it is personal. How do I face the world? What do I say? Yeah. And then, you know, my husband is this person who's, you know, the daddy spirit, very strict. Yeah. <laughs> so how do I even tell him? Our own daughter is in mm. this mess. Mm. So it took me a while. 
it's, it broke my heart. Actually, I cried a number of times. Mm -hmm. I couldn't sleep. <laughs> Just thinking of now, how, you know, how do I go about this? Mm. It wasn't easy. Now, in the moments, in those moments when I was, because it took me like two months before I told my husband. Okay. And imagine we are living in the same house. My goodness. Wow. Yes, two months. Mm -hmm. So I, every day I could battle with this idea, how do I tell him? How do I open up to him that our own is, you know, having this? But uh, during those moments when I was just, you know, searching myself and trying to find the right words, mm. maybe if I may put it that way, uh, I remembered. I remembered how I've been going to schools. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remembered how I've been going to schools, how I've been talking to girls. Uh, abortion is not good. You cannot do this. You die if you do this. So, and then... I just, you know, I just woke up and now uh, I accepted. Because all along I had not accepted. Because, yeah. mm. yes, I'm a Christian, but I also had those, you know, feelings like, yeah. mm. can I, you know, can I, you know, mm. <laughs> you mm. know, mm. That, those feelings. Yeah. But then, after battling with all that, I cannot do this. I'm a champion of the unborn. And my child one day will give a testimony mm -hmm. yes so i w when she came back from school sorry uh, it's a long story kidogo, but i'll yeah, try to cut it short it's important. <laughs> when, it's important. <laughs> when she came back from school uh -huh. so i sat her down so like trying to find out who's responsible nini, nini. remember she is she was only 16 mm. so who's responsible and all that so she was bold enough she told me all that story how it happened and um, she even told me she tried. The, the guy tried to take her to a doctor, to, to a certain place to have the baby terminated. Lord have mercy. I cried. I just held my baby. I cried. Like, thank God you are still alive. Yes. You know, mm. thank God you are still alive. Thank God you didn't go, you know, that, you didn't take that direction. Yeah. So I sat her down and now, you know, I talked to her. Uh, I, I told her the dangers, okay, of all that, and I encouraged her. Yeah. And I stood by her, I told her, no, this baby will come, I'll take care of the baby, you'll go back to school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Though I'm not saying you've done the right thing, it's wrong, you, you, you've sinned against Correct. God, you've sinned Correct. against your own body. Correct. But... Now we are here. Now, now we are here. here. Mm. Yeah. The baby must be born. Mm. We must uh, have this baby. And you go back to school. Yeah. And you will still achieve your dreams. Wow. Did you get the courage to break the news? Yes. <laughs> so I, I, took, I took like three or four days again. Mm. Prayed about it. Like God give me the right words. Every time I could wake up and I look at my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the right time to break the news? And no, 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 no. no. Kesho. And then Kesho in Afrika, mm. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I check his mood, how is yeah. his mood, is yeah. it a jovial mood? Mm. And then I say, no, not today. But now it came a day, something funny, God works in mysterious ways. God gave him a dream. Mm -hmm. Your husband? Yes. God gave him a dream. So he woke up so startled and, you know, so shaken. And he's like, my wife, I've had this dream. I've just seen our daughter naked. <gasps> and she was standing at the door crying mm -hmm. I... and then I broke out in tears mm -hmm. I started to cry and I told her the dream has a message yeah. our daughter is expecting that's what the language he said. of the bible yeah. our daughter is expectant mm -hmm. and I think that dream is communicating something to you mm. and that is how I was able now to break the news to him and wow of course he was he was he was annoyed he, he had some yeah yeah, so yeah yeah the way you yeah. felt yeah, also. Yeah, yeah he just woke out and i don't know where he went to he came back after an hour and then now he sat me down can we now talk about this mm. <laughs> so to cut the long story short uh this abortion thing of course as a christian it would still come into your mind yeah mm. but what is the right thing to do mm -hmm. Why would you kill this innocent baby? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, as at now, I look at this uh, baby, my grandson, and I'm so happy. Yeah. He's a very jovial boy. Mm -hmm. He runs up and down in the house. And uh, I thank God for him. Yeah. Now, what if 
had taken that, you know, the, uh, the road of abortion. You couldn't right. even be here. Right. I couldn't even know be here. Yeah. You know, that's you know, the language you have of the lost Bible. the moral yes, yes, yes. authority how, on how the How would I be feeling right now? Mm. Yes, please, Bona Jonathan. Yeah. I was just saying that's the language of the Bible talks a lot about uncovering nakedness. Yeah. And one of the rules of the Bible that we're mm. neglecting, I, I say we're neglecting now, Mm-hmm. My American society definitely, and also here, is that if a man uncovers a, a maiden's nakedness, mm-hmm. he should either marry her or pay the price her father should name. Mm-hmm. We need to lay hold on these men and make examples. These young boys and men mm-hmm. say, you don't have the right to act like a dog. Yeah. Are you a human being or a dog? If you are a dog, we'll treat you like a dog. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, to balance this, because I spoke with your producer, he said it's a little bit unbalanced because we're showing in the movie also this story, this true story, um, the side where the girl is looking more vulnerable. Mm -hmm. I want to say, as I agreed with him, Mm -hmm. that probably more than 50%, the majority of abortions, the woman is in fact a criminal and the culprit should in fact see a judge, should in fact be arrested, as the law says here in Kenya, Mm -hmm. in spite of that wicked judge who said otherwise, any time you kill someone, Mm -hmm. you should give an account. If you're a woman, if you're a man, you need to give an account. If there are circumstances that are ameliorating, meaning they change things, you were bullied, Mm -hmm. you were pressured, maybe you're mentally handicapped, retarded, Mm -hmm. maybe you're very young, the judge can consider that. Mm and change things. The prosecutor even can consider that. Mm. But when you kill someone made in the image of God, mm. and especially as Christians, we believe in something, Father Emmanuel, Sindio, called incarnation. Yeah, sure. Mm. Yeah. And we don't believe that when that egg within the womb of Mary became fertilized, not by any man. Mm. Sure. Sure. Mm. That was fully God and fully man yes. at that moment. Not 50% God and no. 1% man. Yes or 1% God and 5% man. He was 100% God, 100% human being. From that moment. Yes. Yes. And we see John the Baptist in the Bible worshipping, leaping in his mother's womb. Mm -hmm. Leaping Mm -hmm. (laughs) and worshipping an unborn Jesus in the womb of his mother. Mm -hmm. So there was a divine connection. Exactly. Now that you've mentioned and you've already explained that a fetus in the in the womb is a whole human being and should not be killed. Now in the spiritual perspective, Father Emmanuel, would you tell us maybe when um it comes to that part where the baby now I mean quite aborted and now the mother or the girl has gotten rid of it. Yes. What an appear somewhere in the spiritual realm, maybe an appear to the mother in dreams, I'm a, anyhow. Even Does the father. Happen? See, or even the father. Or, or even the doctor, doctor who oh, procured that. <laughs> yes. uh, I think uh, after aborting, mm-hmm. the mother or the, uh, the father of the child, mm-hmm. they are usually very happy. But there's a uh, human being somewhere. As we can refer from the Bible, we can see the story of uh, Abel and Cain. Mm-hmm. After... Mm-hmm. The mm. death, uh, the blood of uh, Abel was crying because crying, yeah. it, sh- it was still alive. Mm. We can see that uh, human being after during conception, uh, the spirit that is uh, like God uh, mm. enters in the uh, in the human being, yeah. which is uh, the body which comes from the soil. So after separating, let the life of that human being, it does not die. Mm. I am, I, as Father Emmanuel, I am spirit, mm. but I have been uh, incarnated into this body. Mm. So I believe uh, after the death of this child, it does, the spirit does not die. So it is still alive. Yeah. So it will haunt those people. It not only haunt. not only the parents, the mother and the the father, wow. but also the doctor who performed it. Mm. Because we have said uh, a, a killing, uh, performing abortion is like killing. Okay. So it is against the will of God. Yeah, you're gone. Because no one is allowed by the uh, the scriptures to end life. God begin begins life. And he should end the life. Yeah. Not only for that uh, young uh, uh, fetus in the womb, mm. but also us as human beings. Mm. We should not um, uh, commit suicide yeah. or murder right. to one yeah. another. 
know, because he, that is in God's hands to decide Abdul. when you're supposed to leave this world. And uh, right. He made yes. you and he can finish you exactly. at the right time. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, Jesus is a forgiver, Cindy. Yes. Mm-hmm. A forgiver. There's nothing you can do and you repent sincerely yes. and he won't forgive you. Sure. On the other hand, he's very serious about innocent children. Yes. Mm. He said many things. There's a time in the Gospel of Mark, I believe chapter 9, mm-hmm. where he took an innocent child, like we have these models here. Yeah. yeah. And it says he took an innocent child and mm-hmm. set him in the midst of the disciples mm-hmm. yes. and said, whoever receives this little child mm-hmm. in my name yeah. Yeah. also receives, receives me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But then he issued a threat. My father died in December, and my father was reading this passage. He was a, a, a doctor of theology and, 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 and a pastor. Mm-hmm. And he said, Jonathan, I was reading this passage in preparation for a sermon, and Jesus actually issued a threat mm-hmm. in the Gospels when he said, after the positive saying, this child is like me, mm-hmm. receive him as you would rece- and you will receive me. Yes. Now he said, whoever harms, causes to stumble or to sin mm-hmm. against this little child. Mm-hmm. It's better for that man, for that millstone to be tied around his neck mm-hmm. and be thrown in the deepest ocean, mm-hmm. the deepest sea, mm-hmm. rather than what the Lord will do. Because the Lord is a forgiver, but he is also, even Jesus Christ, an avenger. Yeah. An avenger. Yeah. Make no mistake. Mm. Now, do we have hope for someone? Maybe, uh, maybe they didn't know, mm. they had not had such a topic before, mm. and probably they went ahead and procured an abortion. Uh, is there hope for them, or for them now they're doomed? Maybe, I'm, maybe I'll let, if they don't repent, they, <laughs> they, are, they are doomed. <laughs> yeah. But what did Jesus say mm. from the cross about some people who were doing what they were doing in ignorance? Mm-hmm. What did he say? What did he say from the cross? He said, Forgive Father. Them. Forgive them, Forgive for them. they don't know what they are doing. Because they're doing. they don't know yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. He knows the hearts of men. Yes. Mm. But if and they do for, not... For someone who knows what she's doing, like you've mentioned, mm-hmm. you are in that position. And mm-hmm. even as a Christian, you're mm-hmm. a Christian, right? Yeah, true. So maybe it's a lady and mm-hmm. you're a Christian and yeah. you know about it, yeah. but mm-hmm. now you're in that position and you just decided ah, whatever. And now, you're a Christian. For such a person, you know about it. Is there hope? A money for someone too when you just did it quite ignorance. No, no, no. Maybe I can say um, there is hope. There is hope. There is hope. Um, remember, Christ died for our sins. Mm-hmm. That's right. And uh, we've been given grace. Mm-hmm. He gives us mercy every day. Mm-hmm. But uh, it does not mean we abuse, you know, the grace yeah, we get. It does not it. mean we abuse his mercies. Mm. Yeah. So every day we are under God's mercies. Mm. Okay. And every time we, uh, uh, we stumble, every time we, we, we fall short of his glory, mm. we are supposed to go back to him in repentance. Mm. Yeah? Sincere repentance. And yes, yeah. yes. And we are given another chance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't think if God closes us out completely, as a we ume ume uwa ume kosa ivi naivi, and so I'll not receive you. God gives us another chance. Yeah. But it has to be sincere, right from, from our the, heart. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we are not supposed to abuse, you know, the grace that God gives us, exactly. such that ume ume about leo tena exactly. next month una And then you come back and, and then you, then you do come. the same thing yeah. the following day. Lakini hatari, yeah. because as yeah, as you were saying, I've run into these women in person. Mm-hmm. More than once at the abortion clinic, uh, uh, and they say, "Sweetheart, in America, sweetheart, don't you even worry. God has already forgiven me before I did it. Oh, <laughs> I spoke to Jesus yesterday, <laughs> and I and He forgave me, and I'm doing it now. That is very close wow. to a blasphemy against yeah, exactly. the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. For sure, like God, Jesus is your buddy, buddy. Yeah, I, I believe uh, <laughs> God is so merciful, uh-huh. and He can forgive us even if we do not repent. But it is very, very much important Mm. for us to accept that I have sinned. I have gone against the will of God. Mm. What is the next thing to do? You have to repent. Yes. Do go and confess your sins. And you accept that you have sinned and repent your sins. God says he is so merciful. Mm. He can uh, clean whatever is very dirty Dirty. and become very clean uh, and very pure. Exactly. So for those who are committing abortion, it is necessary and very important 
to repent. Mm. But if we ignore and say that uh, you shall be forgiven because Christ died on, uh, for us on the cross, that is not important. You have to repent. Mm. Uh, sins of ignorance, they cannot be forgiven. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, oh. I want us to go real quick, and mm. I know Mwelekezi, because of time, yeah. ningetaka kama itawezekana, wacha tuone all those parts, and ndivopi yata mtazamaja yeah. itaweza kufuata mpaka mwisho, mm. pale mbapo hawi mstiana, ana, ana, anaendelea, ana procure that abortion, na yule daktari ambaye anamfanyia uh, utuaji mimba huo, Mambe na kuenda segimnege na huu msichana anakufa. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a very sad film, mm. but also very enlightening. Educated. Ya kwamba you have an opportunity mm. to make the right decision. Mm. Because if you dare make a wrong turn, the devil is there with you telling you now, you are here, mm. you are in my area, let me show you how that plays out. And you see, the work of the devil, tunajua ya kwamba, ni kuiba kuharibu na kuwa. So don't give him that opportunity to yeah. come and speak to you and tell you, you know, oh, oh. first of all, what did the devil create to begin with? Mm. That now Nothing. he wants to end Hakuna. it. Nothing. Don't Hakuna. give him that opportunity. So, mm. waja tuangalie the, that retaliation film kwa haraka tu, and then tukikuja hapa, wagenwe tu kila moja wetu atakuwa na tuambia, his final in it parting shot. Yeah. Yes. Ah <laughs> Belekezi, <laughs> let's have it. We can have all of them ndivyo mm, tuweze kufuata mm. uh vile ambavyo zinaendelea. Jesus for another patient. Are you not the one who came in with um Kathy na Muyomba? You say yes. And then why are you saying that the information I'm giving you is for a different patient? Because my sister is not pregnant. She only has malaria. Sir, we have run several tests on her and she has no sign of malaria in her blood. Yes, the signs she has are like those of a malaria patient, but are very common in pregnant women. That's why I'm asking the reason as to why they were giving her anti-malaria drugs, yet she has no malaria in her blood. I've sacrificed everything, everything for you. All the money I make, I give it to you because I want you to have a comfortable life at school. I wear rugs, sleep in torn bed sheets, eat bad food, all because I'm serving and I want to pay tuition in time. I'm seen as an embarrassment in the village because of the clothes and this one pair of shoes that I put on. Look at this room, everything in this room. Look at the shoes. Everything you ask for, I give it to you without complaining. And what have you paid me in return? I'm sorry, Joseph, I'm sorry. Sorry? <laughs> and you think sorry is going to change any of this? You haven't said anything since we got here, and you haven't touched your food. I... I need to... I'm pregnant. <laughs> what did you say? I'm... Kathy, I heard what you said. You can't be pregnant. I paid for the injections. <clears throat> I told you where to go. Did you go? I did. <laughs> you didn't go. Kathy, you cannot be pregnant. You think I want to? Oh, that's the Why are you talking to me like this? I'm sorry. We are not ready to be talking about having babies. When is the right time then? There is no right time. We are not ready to be parents. What? Calling your 40? If it was me, I can ask for a daddy and then... No, you can't. You can't. I'm married. And if my wife finds out, she's going to leave me. What? Kathy. Tell me it's a lie. I thought you knew. How? How was I supposed to know? Look, there's the ring. There's the bloody ring. I don't wear it. I don't want the marks. I don't want tan lines. What the hell do you want me to say? Um, Hi. 
Was it a false alarm? No. Is that what are the pads for? Please lock up on your way out. Kasi, where are you going? If you come here to stop me, please don't. Because this is my life. Stop you from doing what? Are you getting rid of the baby? Kasi, you can't do that. So says someone who is not in my shoes. That as soon as the bump starts showing, you're going to be one of the first people to backbite me that I'm carrying a married man's baby. Kathy, you know I can't do that. You might not, but everyone will. Our classmates, Kathy. people around this hostel, church leaders, where we prof from, <laughs> people back in the village will be gossiping about this from breakfast, lunch, supper. Kathy. It's not about what people will say. What matters is you doing the right thing for you and your child. It's not even yet a baby. It's just blood. Would you be alive if your mom said the same thing? She would have said all that, but she didn't because she loved you. That's the point, Joan. I don't love this baby. I don't have any attachment to it. Why not it ruin my life? Why? That's me. Do you remember what you told me about your brother, Joseph? If your mom listened to your father and got rid of him, where would you be? Who, who would have helped you to get where you are now? Big old world And all my heart can do is hold on to the memory of you I will do it I will have an abortion. Thank you. Thank you. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Now, I want you to rest on that bed, all right? It's not going to take long. Here. Change into that. I'll be right back. Don't worry. You and your sister saying sorry cannot change the pain that I have caused you. But please, find it in your heart and forgive me. I... You don't have to say anything right now. It might take forever, but please try.
We have to get you out of here. Now. I'm calling. You go. No, no, I'll take care of you. You go. Go now. Wow, retaliation. Wow. There you mm -hmm. go. What, what, hey, what a film. And even before we wind up, because mm -hmm. we're just about to, yeah. maybe someone is already asking him or herself, mm -hmm. uh, how can they get to uh, have that film as well? Mm -hmm. Be watching. It hasn't been released yet. Be yes. watching it. Project C, Project S E E mm -hmm. dot com and retaliation movie mm -hmm. dot com over the coming days and weeks okay keep, keep looking please and we'll give you different ways that you can see it and also mm -hmm. hopefully debut it here in kenya on television god exactly willing. god willing oh yeah. yes now wow. we're just about to wind up because also time is not together with us mm -hmm. but what will be your parting shot well the the film has um has moved me <laughs> the scene yeah it's <laughs> and you have really portrayed yourself as a very yeah. evil person, a very wicked there. person you know, i looked at you and i'm like <laughs> Listen, eh? I have begun to hate you, but, okay. <laughs> but if you want to stone me or hang or burn me, let me say something first. Please, I have a last word. In the Western world, as a Westerner, as an American, I represent a citizen of those countries. We've messed up really bad. We've messed up really bad. Russia and most of Europe. Uh, legalized abortion, decriminalized and legalized abortion many decades ago. America 50 years ago. Now it's 50-50 in America. We're yeah. fighting over it right now. Yeah. Mm. But uh, it's still happening there, even up to the day of birth in California, in New mm. York. We messed up really bad. We messed up really bad. For God's sake, for Christ's sake, don't do what we did. Oh, yes. Russia, look at the news. I don't have to tell you. Russia and America are almost blowing each other up mm. with fire. Mm -hmm. With fire right now. Yeah. I'm talking about nuclear weapons. Mm -hmm. A mind, Paul in Romans chapter 1 talks about when people refuse to honor God as God, he gives them over to a reprobate mind, meaning mm -hmm. to do those things which are not good. Yeah. Yeah. Easily you could have solved your problems, instead deliberately you make them worse, you make them worse mm -hmm. because God is removing his grace. Yeah. Africans, Kenyans, don't be seduced. By the money, by the pressure, mm. don't do what we did. These little children, here we have, maybe you can show them. Mm -hmm. mm. Father Emmanuel, if you can hold this one. We have 12 weeks here. Yeah. Three months from yeah. conception. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This beautiful baby. I don't know if the camera can, yeah. can show yeah, it's possible this little one. It. Yeah. Mm. But even three weeks from conception, this mm. is that one. a puzzle. Mm -hmm. All the way up to... 26 weeks, almost ready to be born. Yeah. And live outside in an incubator, mm -hmm. the womb. Yeah. You see? And everything in between. The, and if this person, we're here to give a voice for these people. Yeah. If these little babies could speak, what would they say? Well, today we are here, Sindio, mm -hmm. to be their voice. Great. They would say, hey, I'm a person, defend me. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Don't kill me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Defend me. Yeah. I have well, a right to leave. That's right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. How old will you, you know, will be your parting shot as well? well when uh, I look at the human story, it's such a beautiful one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, right from conception, you know, people try to uh, say that uh, it's just blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is why I guess they go running, uh, trying to abort. Mm -hmm. But right from conception, it is already alive. Mm -hmm. It is something that has life in you. It already has a heartbeat. Yeah. That's know? right. Mm. As a medical person, I would Three say weeks. that. It already yeah. has Three a weeks. heartbeat. So it's, it's not right to say it's just blood and you go ahead, you know, expelling it out. Yeah. So this beautiful story is what motivates us to speak about this. Mm. That it's not just blood. Yeah. It is something that is already living in you, mm. right from conception to uh, uh, birth. Okay. So... Give them a chance to live. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yes. There you go. For the Emmanuel. Thank you. Wow. Uh, my final remarks, I may say human beings or those who are procuring uh, abortion, mm 
Mm -hmm. they, are, they are worse than animals. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I don't think animals can kill their own children. Yeah. But human beings who are rational, they are doing that. Uh, for us as human beings, mm -hmm. we, we cannot make life. Only God who can create life. Mm -hmm. Amen. So as human beings, what we cannot start, let us not end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. So uh, for that child that you are planning to abort, you never know what he or she will become tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe he will be the president. He will be the salvation of the world. Exactly. You never know. Mm. He may become your helper tomorrow. Mm. So, to tunze watoto ambao wako kwa tumbo, hawa ni viumbe ambao wako uhai, ambao mungu anawapenda, na he knows the destiny of their life. Ya ni ya anajua maisha yao, ya takuwa na mnagani. Okay. So, as Christians, as the church, as Orthodox church, let us preserve those unborn children. Wow. Thank you very much. Yeah. And I'm thinking I mean, exactly. about um, a girl out there who yeah. wants to abort, then akuto kombele you can't have kids. I'm telling kuna you, it's crazy. It can happen. It's very possible. Yeah, yeah. kuna watu wengi sana inyo nataka kukwa na watu when they Ooh. can't. Yeah. So if you're very out cool. there in the same position right now and you're thinking of aborting, just think about if God is giving you that one chance to have that baby and you'll never get that baby again. Mm. Mm. Now, to rubber stamp this, all of that, I mm. just want to read one SMS here. Yeah. Uh, someone with a very personal experience. There's so many, but now time cannot mm. allow us. True. Good morning, everyone. A great topic today. I personally carried out three abortions mm -hmm. more than 10 years ago. And trust me, up to date, I still carry the guilt and cry every time I remember my unborn babies. Yes, I later got born again, but I tell you, one can never forget it. I had to later pay dearly for it when I got married by having other three miscarriages. Mm -hmm. I told myself those must have been the consequences of what I did mm -hmm. in my earlier youth. Lord, have mercy on us. Never ever mm -hmm. abort mm -hmm. your unborn baby. Uh, I've seen your name, but I'm not going to mention it. Yeah. Uh, but thank you so much. And then we have so many other uh, so many. SMSs here. But mm. unfortunately, time is not together with us. See, I just read, read only one. one. Only yes. one because of time. It's also only a very one. personal um, experience. And I say, Ati, I want to confess today. I aborted when I was young. And I'm not so sure if God has forgiven me. Please advise. Maybe we could give you the numbers. Yeah. Yeah, and I think Father uh, Emmanuel can speak, but we have a sure word from the Bible. You don't have to doubt mm. if we confess our sins. Yeah. He is faithful and just oh, to yes. forgive us our sins mm. and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yeah. Mm. Put your hat on that, hang your hope and your faith on that, confess, mm. and be sure God is not a liar. Mm. And just imitate the Apostle Paul. He said, me, I'm the chief of sin yeah. sinners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was holding the coats when they killed Stephen. Yes. Repent, don't say, but, 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 mm -hmm. conditions, conditions. No, I'm the chief of sinners, like oh, Paul. Yes. Yeah. And, the, Paul. and there is the cross of Jesus Christ. Is there any number that may be for someone who may want to talk to you? Can uh, reach take you my through? email, Jonah O'Toole, J-O-N-A-O-T-O-O-L-E mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Yeah. Okay. Jonah O'Toole, J O N A. O T O O L E mm. at mm. gmail.com. Okay. Okay. Karibu to email us. Mm. No All problem. Right. Thank All you. Right. Welcome. We'll also give you maybe the numbers because now time is not on oh, our yes. side. We cannot okay. read all the feedback, but we can maybe give forward the numbers. Some Please of do. Yeah. Please yeah. do. Even Some to my WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Plus mm. one, eight one six three three seven two six one four. Mm. That's plus one, eight one six mm -hmm. three three seven two six. One four. There okay. you go. Thank you so much. Thank God bless you, you. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Jonathan, and also we have Madame Rosabella mm -hmm. and also Father Emmanuel for yeah. availing yourself here. And uh, uh, you know, we just say that may God bless you, expand your territories, mm -hmm. and every place that you visit yeah. uh, for these wonderful conversations. There, mm -hmm. you'll find people waiting for you and ready to hear what you have to tell them, sure. and trusting the Lord that those people are going to say as per what the uh, the word of God says yeah. because you know it is in the will of God that mm. we preserve life mm. because he is the only one Amen. who can end it mm. True. thank you wow. thank you don't want to add anything else because of time yeah 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 nataka tuingie kwa bath kwa haraka sana yes. kwa sababu muda huko pamoja nasi lakini leo hatutasoma mm. manake najua kwamba tunaweza tukakatwa yeah. wakati wa wote ule kwa hiyo ni kuimba tu happy birthday mm.
Okay, wow. tumerudi. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear viewers. Happy birthday to you. Ah, amko mshika rada so then we take it again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear viewers. Happy birthday to you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, right, now we can be on our nini because today's inspiration kama vile ambavyo nitazama kwenye kiwambo cha runinga yako kwa haraka yeah. tu sana maana muda huko pamoja na sida mm. mbili zimesalia. Mm. Ukiangalia hapo kuna maandishi ambayo yako hapo Rachel uta inspiration be an en- be an encourager when you encourage others you boost their self esteem enhance their self confidence make them work harder lift their spirit and make them successful in their endeavors encouragement goes straight to the heart and is always available be an, an encourager always Hashtag #blessed tuesday and of course ni ndani ya today's inspiration, inspiration. kesho itakuwa ni siku ya jumatano mm. wakati ambapo huwa tunaangazia masuala ya afya and mm. i know kwamba kesho huenda there's a possibility yeah. tukao tunaangalia masuala ambayo yanaendana na your dental formula mm. kwa hiyo usisahau kamita is my name right. enjoy the rest of your viewing jina langu ni Rachel Kahugu tuna ni kesho majaliwa and now may the grace of oh, our oh, lord jesus, jesus christ, christ and, and the, the love, love of god, god. And, and the, the fellowship, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be, be with, with us, us now, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Because we all always do this here. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. Presenta kai kicha kadao wanga. Wayeri tunaona kesho. Allah. Okay.